Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Diane. I'm a facial plastic surgeon from Chicago, and I'm not only a clinician, but I'm also an author, a professor, and a researcher. And I'm here to talk to you a little about Viviscale and our experiences with it. We've been using Viviscale for the last, over the last year, about 18 months now, and it started because we, we were part of a trial. We conducted a trial looking at the effects of Viviscale on hair loss. And hair loss is a significant issue that affects many women. In fact, up to 40% of women over the age of 40 can be losing their hair. Now, sometimes, of course, there's medical conditions, and those have to be ruled out. But for the vast majority of women who are suffering from hair loss because of uh, the aging process or because of, of, a, of a hereditary influence on it, there may be an option today that was not really available to us in the past, and it's very exciting. Of course, there's some medical medicines that we can offer for hair loss, but to offer a nutritional supplement and have proof behind it is an interesting premise. So we got involved because we were asked to conduct a trial. And we do lots of clinical trials. And in this study, it was two centers. It was my center and Dr. Ablon's center. And we looked each at 40, we looked at a total of 40 patients. We each had 20 in each site. And half of the women got placebo, sugar pill, and half of the women got Viviscale. And what we wanted to look at was, is there increased hair growth increasing the diameter of the hair, and how did it affect their self-esteem. It was quite interesting because after three months, we could already see a difference. The women who were getting the Viviscale product had an increase in their hair growth 57%. They had more terminal hairs in a little select spot that we picked on the scalp. Hair diameters also were increasing. By six months when we had the complete, when the study was ended, there was an 80% increase in hair growth, and there's a 12% increase in hair diameter in the patients who got Viviscale. Placebo did not have this type of result, so it was statistically significant, and that's quite valuable. There were other studies in the past that have shown results that are showing the positive benefits of Viviscale for hair growth, but I think this was the first study that was done in a randomized placebo control trial at two different centers, so that makes the study that much more robust. And what I found most interesting in the study, because I do a lot of research, I do a lot of studies, and every study I do, I always look at self-esteem and quality of life, because it's my opinion that the most important thing we do as aesthetic physicians, without a doubt, without a doubt, the number one thing that I do is I improve self-esteem. It's not necessarily making someone more beautiful, it's making someone feel more beautiful. So what I liked about this product is when we did the study, we asked the, the, the women in the trial, how does it affect your self-esteem and your quality of life? We looked at quality of life issues, and what we found in 9 out of 13 categories, there was an increase in their self-esteem. Their quality of life issues were better. And that was a huge impression on me. The fact that I can give a product to patients who are suffering from hair loss and make them feel better about themselves and statistically prove that, yes, there is some science that this can increase the amount of hairs, that was very fascinating. And I can tell you anecdotally, in my experience, all the women who were part of the trial are now continuing on with Viviscale on their own because they were happy with the results. And in my own office, of the women who work for me, all of them now themselves are taking Viviscale. And yes, so me too. Anyway, so that's been my experience. I'm excited about it and it's something that we are now offering to our patients and hopefully to see uh, a lot more to happen in the future.